Today, guys, we're going to clean the mud crab. One of the biggest questions that we got here is when we put the mud crabs out, is how do you clean them? Or, oh no, I don't want to take one because it's too hard to clean. I'm going to show you today a really quick and easy way to clean a mud crab, and it takes no time, little fuss, and little mess. All right, here we go. All you need is a butter knife. Something with a preferably not a plastic handle, but it will still make this work. So, if we get a little close up here, this is where I'm going to put the butter knife. Through the back of the carapace, like that. And it lifts away. So we got that to lift away. Then we follow the knife down on each side to cut away the gills. It's already been cooked, so it's quite easy to get rid of those gills. Now, you put your finger in the front of the mouthpiece of the mud crab, and you pull it and push it, and it'll just come away too. Lift it upside down, and you pull off the flap. It comes away pretty easily and then snap it down the middle. Then we'll give it a little wash and some salt water and that's all you've got, it's beautiful clean meat. Same with the other side and bang, that's done. The guts and the gills go to the top of the carapace and you throw it into the bin. Then, crack the claws. This is what we do. So you take off one claw. When you snap the claw off, you try and pull it away like that and you'll get a little bit of meat come out with it. With the body, you divide it into four or three. So you just run the butter knife down. Grab your hand and push down with your palm like that. Push it down like that and like that. So then, when you pull it apart, all you've got to do is pull it apart like that and then you can take away the meat from the little bits of, oh, they're good mud crabs. A little bit of meat from a little bit of shell. Really easy to deal with. Then with the legs, snap it at the joint and give it a little wiggle and normally it'll pull out one go, but a lot of the time you might have to just squeeze that leg. That's a real little, little bit of sweet morsel that is. Mm. Sensational mud crabs. These mud crabs are from the Dolphin Cup and Terrier. They're sweeter and nicer and fuller than their cousins that grow on the east coast, the black crab. There's a green crab and the other crab is called a black crab. Now, the best part of the mud crab. So, to get the claw meat out in one go, like a paddle pop, you go like this. A line down just behind the actual lizard itself. And then a little wiggle and it comes out in one go. Now that little bit of cream is just the fat off the mud crab. It's beautiful and sweet, you can eat it, but I don't like to. And there, look at that. Beautiful mud crab straight from North Queensland or the Gulf of Carpentaria. Sweet, firm, it's got a brilliant texture to it. Cooked to perfection. And as you move down, the best way to get the second loop of the of the claw out is to go like that. And it pulls out the same way. Beautiful. The knuckle, just like that. The knuckle is a little bit more difficult because it doesn't actually come away like the rest of it. And you do have to sometimes wiggle it a little bit to come out. It's a bit of a tap on the back side and there we go. There it is there. So once you've cleaned all that up, you pick all your meat out, a little bit of vinegar and black pepper, mix them together, perfect. But you don't need a lot with this mud crab. Anyway, quick, easy way to clean your mud crab. Next time you come into the shop, don't say it's too hard to peel.